growing number of identity theft victims are not adults, but kids. Consumer reporter John Matteris digs deeper into this growing problem. And John, what is different about a child's identity being stolen? Well, Carol, when it comes to children, it can be years before they or anyone realizes that they've been victimized. And by then, their credit is destroyed. It was an exciting time of her life. Axton Betts Hamilton remembers when she was 19 years old and getting her first apartment. But when she signed up for utility service, they told her, We need a $100 deposit due to your credit score. Confused, she ordered her credit report. And what she found was shocking. It was 10 pages long, full of fraudulent credit card entries and associated collection agency entries. Turns out her identity had been stolen when she was 11. More on how it happened in a minute, but first, Axton will be well into adulthood before she'd managed to clear her name. My credit report was damaged from 1993 to 2009. She's made it her life's work to educate others about child identity theft. She's a professor now and says your child's name, address, and birth date all pieces to the puzzle. Their social security number, that one's gold. You should limit very much where your child's social security number is shared. And ask questions when it's requested, say at school or a doctor's office. Why do they need it? How do they store it? And how do they get rid of it? If it's a weak answer, like, well, we, we always just collect it. We always just have it. Well, no, they don't need it. Kids also do things to make themselves easier targets, putting pieces to their identity all over social media. You can find birthdays everywhere. But a sad reality of child identity theft is something Betts Hamilton knows all too well. Child identity theft is that it's often committed by someone who's known to the child. In Axton's case, it was her own mother. I felt like I'd been kicked in the stomach. And she didn't discover it until after her mom died a year ago. All these years, she had no idea that her mom was living what she believes now to be a double life. The person I knew as my mother, the woman that my dad spent 44 and a half years of his life with is not the person that she seemed to be. She still grapples with why, but in the meantime, she's dedicated to keeping others from living this nightmare. I decided to make something good come from the one experience that had defined my life to date. Well, one other thing you can do, you can put a freeze on your child's credit report. Essentially, that means no one can open credit in their name using their social security number. Now, tonight at 11, I'm going to have a story about how some tri-staters are having to fight for years to get errors removed from a credit report. 